Good everyone, welcome to this video. Today it's a bug that I encountered with the recent patch. Now, obviously, the videos you'll see after this one, because I'm going to be releasing this on the 16th of March, and um, the um, the first battle will, well, the first battle in the SM92 will come after this as a bonus video. But um, then the day after, it will be the SM92 Spade review. After that, everything else will be patch 1.85 related, so obviously you'll see subscriber replays from then. Um, I've had a lot more time to record now because obviously um, my assignment is done. But um, yes, the SM92 is now spaded. Obviously, I'm not going to go over it now. I'll go over it in a review. And I'll go over it briefly in the first flight as well. So today's encounter was when I was on my seventh flight of the plane and well it's a nice plane I, I really do like it obviously it's got its problems which I'll go over in a review but for the most part this plane isn't too bad but we encountered a very strange bug with the game and well let's just jump right in because it is it's hard to explain it now the replay that I'm going to use for the spade impressions is quite small, but um, you saw the name of it there. Hackusations may occur. That's your hint. Don't worry, people. It's going to be fun. I promise you that. So, at this point, the plane was around about half spaded, if I recall correctly. Half to three quarters spaded, if I remember rightly. And while the flight performance is very nice, actually, flies very well. That I can say. Obviously, I don't want to spoil anything for the review, but I do carry the wing bombs. Those are the six 100 kilogram bombs. If you've flown the SM-91, they're in the exact same location. You get the same dive brakes. However, this plane obviously does have a couple of problems, but I'll ignore them for now. Now the bug doesn't actually occur until the end of the match, but I am going to show the match as a whole. Because normally I do a bit of blabbering and then skip right to the bug. Now nah, I want to I want to show you guys briefly as like a what to expect for this plane when it's half spaded. Now here you can see a Sterling. Now at this point I did not have the 20 mm cannon mods done. You are armed with three 20mm cannons and four 12.7 braiders. Pretty effective armament. I mean, it's questionable. Obviously, I take three passes on this guy. But, for the most part, this plane isn't too bad. I mean... But, obviously, I'll go over the bugs in the... Well, I'll go over briefly what one of the bugs is in um, the... Uh, first flight that I'll show you. Normally I would show the first flight first, but I thought if I showed this bug, maybe it could get ironed out quicker if someone sends it to Gaijin. Right, now we need to skip ahead because there is a rather large gap between me doing anything. You may notice I'm flying the plane rather unusually. Normally you'd see people in SM91s going head on with everything, going to do pretty much everything they want in it. I wouldn't advise that with this plane. The fuselage can take quite a few hits. But um, the cooling system cannot. And at this point, if you look at the damage model, we have taken coolant damage. Obviously, in the replay, it won't actually show it. But I needed to. I knew I wasn't going to make it back to base, so I thought the best course of action would be to land do an old trick. I've done it before in the ju 87 d 3 when I was spading that. And what you do is, you land, switch off your engines, and because the cooling system is not functioning, the plane doesn't die and you don't get a death on your scorecard, so maybe remember that for the future. But the one thing I want you to take note, if you guys have not taken notice already, is the entire enemy team is dead. And you can see, me putting it in chat, well, in fact, the first person to put GG was at 13.13. 13. 
and it's been over a minute. Now at this point I was actually going to grab my sister, because obviously my sister does do working games, she tests them. And obviously I'm doing a course where I will have to test my game when I eventually make it. And this was a pretty funny bug to encounter, so obviously the enemy team is entirely dead. That's one thing I want you to note. But um, yeah, the game's not ending. We have to sit here for a good three or four minutes before the match actually ends. And it was a very strange encounter. It's just, I mean, I have the patience of a saint, as I put in the chat. But <laughs> if this battle wouldn't have ended when it did, I'd have had to have waited another, what, 42 minutes? I'd have gotten a hell load of points for it. Maybe even spade of the plate after it, but the game did eventually end. Either Gaijin didn't fill up their servers with vodka and coke, or this is a pretty serious bug that needs to be ironed out. Because there's been times where um, people would, obviously, the game's ended, enemy players are dead, and they would think, oh, the match is going to end, I'll just dive into the ground and crash like a twat. Yeah, that's not going to work if this bug isn't ironed out, because you'll just get a death on your stalk gold card, you'll get a full repair, and you'll look like a twat. But yes, I hope if anyone who wants to well, show it off, and put it in the forums or something, maybe show this bug to Gaijin, because um, it's quite clear there is a problem with their servers. Or something. And well, yeah, it's just something that needs to be sorted. But anyway, I'm going to get off and record the first flight, and the, the dialogue for that. Well, not the dialogue, more like me talking, because I don't use scripts, before anyone asks. Scripts are for wusses, in my opinion. People who use scripts in their videos are just... Well, you've got no... Ca like, there's no character, like... To me, not using a script is showing off your personality a bit more. But anyway, less of the blabbering about that. I'll let you guys off. Hope you enjoyed this little strange bug. And I will catch you all on the next one.